What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, it's predicted that Kawhi Leonard is going to come back stronger than ever. You know, listen to his trainer and, um, you know, speaking on Kawhi Leonard of how, you know, his progression has come. It's come a long way. And, you know, all the notion about Kawhi Leonard, about, you know, I, I made a video a couple weeks ago about Shaq saying, oh, he's not a superstar or he doesn't know whether he's a superstar and all that type of type of stuff. I think all that's about to be put to rest this season. I think Kawhi is going to come back and uh, let everybody know or remind everybody who he really is and if that happens now that changes the dynamic of you know everything the NBA the landscape everything of everything in the NBA because now you know that might put a that's gonna put a monkey wrench in a lot of people's plans because of course most people just look at you know or some just look at the superstars that are readily playing or that are playing right now are the only superstars in the league but Kawhi is one of those superstars and I just feel like you know me personally I don't feel like Kawhi has nothing to prove in that area I just think that some people look at it like you know he hasn't updated his resume in a while and this is something that he has to do and if that's the case then you know so be it you know Kawhi is going to come back you know, at some point, and um, I feel like he's going to shut up all his doubters and his criticizers and haters and people who, you know, look elsewhere when it comes to him, because he's definitely a top five player any given moment on the floor when healthy. Definitely a top two, top three player, if you ask me, because I can't look at one player in the NBA that can play both sides of the floor the way he can. You might can make an argument for Giannis, but at the same time, Giannis is seven feet tall, you know, blocking a lot of shots. And, you know, he does play a little bit of defense. I'm not going to lie. He does but to the level of Kawhi Leonard I don't think so and like I said he can't he can't he, to me he can't play on the level of Kawhi Leonard because he can't score the way Kawhi can only thing Giannis does is go down there and dunk the whole time every highlight of Giannis is all dunks Kawhi Leonard's got jumpers fadeaways step backs he's almost like a version of uh uh, uh you know a version of, of Jordan and Kobe mixed together you know what I'm saying the way his game is he got the old school type mid-range game you know like that almost kind of like you know uh De Devin Booker a young dude you know even Devin Devin Booker has an old school type game a little bit, but, you know, of course, Devin Booker is not on the level of Kawhi Leonard, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I feel like that old school type game doesn't get the credit that it deserves because, I mean, even though the Phoenix Suns, you know, flamed out in the playoffs, Devin Booker had a really good season last season. He wasn't even in the play. He wasn't even in the MVP conversation. I mean, not for the, the, the longest part of the season until Chris Paul got hurt, but this is what I'm saying. I feel like people don't appreciate the mid-range game game and all that stuff and Kawhi has all that you know jumper everything you want in a superstar he's humble he doesn't talk at all he doesn't speak out of character he doesn't talk bad about other players and you know he's not really like a, a huge flashy guy but he gets the job done and that's what really counts the most when you got somebody who can get the job done the way he can I personally think he's second to none. I definitely think he's one of the best players, you know, in the league. Um, I personally think he's the best player in the league, if you ask me. And, uh, you know, according to his trainer, you know, Kawhi's come back as a stronger version or the best version of himself yet. So, you know, that that really actually happens because, like I said, the Clippers are going to need that Kawhi Leonard if they're, if they're planning to go further, you know, in the playoffs, if they're planning to go far, if they're planning to, you know, make a run for a championship. And um, definitely going to need the best version of Kawhi Leonard. And, you know, I've been hearing nothing but good things about Kawhi Leonard's ACL recovery process, you know, since it started, but it's definitely ramping up a lot more now simply because, you know, Kawhi is definitely getting more healthier and he's definitely, you know, starting to, you know, get his feet up under the workouts and everything like that. You know, they're um, him and Paul George are working, working on that with the guys right now. Everybody is, you know, in tune. Everybody's trying to get that rhythm going, that chemistry that they're going to need. They're going to need all that chemistry. They're going to need that build. They're going to need that camaraderie. And I feel like, you know, having Kawhi there with with Paul George and, 
you know, uh, John Wall, it's all going to come together. I feel like it really can. So this could be a really big season for them, really big season for the organization. And, you know, it's going to be a big one for even Kawhi Leonard, too, because if he can actually help this team win a championship, you know, the first time ever, I mean, that would be like epic. You see what I'm saying? So the epic of um, that happening would be just dynamic for the city, you know, just a difference in uh, momentum swing, you know, because it's always been the Lakers. And, um, you know, if the, if the Clippers could find a way to pull one off, I think it would definitely open up a lot of eyes towards them and how great they could be as a team and, you know, how, you know, the type of run that they made and the journey it took them to get there, you know, get to the finals. So, you know, I'm definitely waiting, anticipating to see. I want to see uh, Kawhi Leonard play at a high level again, and I, I know he will, and I know he'll dominate both sides of the floor, and we know Kawhi is best. He plays the best in the playoffs, so, you know, I definitely can't wait to see that uh, playoff Kawhi Leonard because that's the one that's really, you know, the most intriguing because in the playoffs, I think he's, I me mean, personally, I think he's the best playoff performer ever, so, I mean, if you ask me, I'm just ready to see him, you know, take it, you know, take his game to that level again, go into that postseason and go out there and dominate, but of course, I want to see him play in the regular season and, you know, get his numbers and get his feet up under him because once he does that, I feel like his rhythm and everything will come along and once his rhythm comes along, everything else will fall right into place and that's exactly, you know, what the Clippers want. They want everything to fall into place when it comes to Kawhi Leonard because like I said, you need him to be at his best if you want to win the West and go to the finals because it's going to be tough. You got the Warriors, you know, you got, you know, Memphis coming back, a lot of these young teams, you know, the Phoenix Suns are going to try and make a run at it again. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's going to be a tough ride. It's not going to be easy. You see what I'm saying? Then Dallas is getting better. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not, it's not going to be easy to come out the West, but I definitely think that the Clippers, you know, are built for this. I think that uh, Ty Lue can get them ready and get them, you know, to the point where they can be, you know, ready for whatever comes their way. And I definitely think that, um, you know, a championship is definitely possibly on its way if they could just stay healthy because that's their main thing. Kawhi got to stay healthy. PG got to stay healthy. Those two out of every single player on the on the team has got to stay healthy more than more than anybody. So we'll see what happens and see how it goes. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Kelly out.